in previous videos we have seen how to persist employee data into mysql server using spring boot rest api and spring data jpa as part of this video i'm i'm going to show you how to fetch employee by its primary key which is employee id using path variable and request parameters let's open a spring tool suite and let's add a new endpoint in employee controller the return type is going to be employee okay we, we are going to get employee id which is primary key here uh, id using employee dao we'll call find by id that's built-in method in, in crud repository i'm giving same id which is passed by the client let's do return of that object a find by id will not directly return employee that returns optional object inside optional we have employee so on optional i'm calling get which returns employee object for us then i want to tell my spring boot this is a rest api for that i have to put request mapping i could go and use request mapping directly and provide the path and the method for this a specific endpoint we also can directly use get mapping which implicitly mean the request method is get you don't have to explicitly specify the method details there path equals employee and the path variable is id the syntax for declaring path variable inside mapping is open close curly braces and name of that path variable this name could be anything i want to bind id coming part of path variable into this request argument for that i want to use annotation path variable okay so as part of this annotation we can mention name equals id so it usually matches this one with this binds that value into this variable i'm passing that to my crud repository getting employee data so that's all we have to do let's open a main method run this spring boot application and test it from postman in postman let's put the url employee the path variable is this let's send the request if all goes well we should get the output it says no value present probably the values are not present inside employee table let's cross check that so i ran this query i do not find any values in employee for testing this example let's explicitly go and add employee details employee id comma name right values one hurry select that execute the query insert it successfully let's test our example now send the request of course yeah we got employee by its id using path variable in place of a path variable we also could use request parameter let's see how that works now so so take this out so now we need to use request param So name of that parameter and the variable to bind that value and the remaining stuff is same. Yeah. Now from postman instead of sending it as 
the path variable we need to send it as a query parameter send it says uh, get not supported let's cross check that i got it why it's not working the reason is after doing changes to my apis i have to restart my uh, spring boot application yeah that is how uh, query parameters and uh, path variables work in rest apis thank you okay now the question is what is different when to use path variables and when to use request parameters so my observation is when we use path variables it is mandatory for the client to pass that value as part of the url okay and if we design our endpoint rest endpoint using request parameter such that you can make this optional or you can make it mandatory we have that switch to make it uh, optional or mandatory so that flexibility we don't have in case of uh, path variable that's my observation anyways thanks for watching